I was thinking about how to, uh, to bring this subject up about one of the biggest enemies to any athlete or any body aspiring for success is, is distraction and um, I'm going to give my views on it and Lucian can give his views but my views are based on subconscious adaptation which is like when you've got a set of ideas so in, ingrained in your head that when you get get into a situation where you have to react your natural reaction is the ideas that have been drilled in your head that you do more often so to the point that they become natural and according to that science like for instance with, with fighting you have to drill you know a particular move over a thousand times for it to become a reflex like a habit you know what I mean like your natural habit and I don't believe that that only stops with what you're drilling in, in the gym like Lucian, I saw a documentary with Lucian once where he said even if he's watching football, his mind still goes over fighting yes, sir. every so often. So the subconscious adaptation needs to be fed by the brain constantly thinking about the art that it wants to make part of your body. And I believe that the, the, the um, obstruction to that is your brain being distracted by something else. So let's say for instance, you're constantly on your mobile phone and going back and forth with a young girl that you like or whatever, yeah? And you're constantly thinking about her. So you go to the gym, you train for one hour, but for 23 hours a day or, or however 15 hours of consciousness, you're thinking about this young girl. The only subconscious adaptation you're gonna have is to deal with her because you're fighting, uh, 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 it's secondary, okay? So I think this, this actually leads to the fact that when a fighter is trained and he goes out into the middle of the ring, he doesn't remember or doesn't listen to instruction properly, yeah? Because the main focus in his brain is the distractions that he's dealing with on these phones and stuff. So it's actually part of, 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 of genius and excellence that your mind is totally preoccupied with your art all, the, all, all of the time. And the only way you can do that is by having no distraction. This is why fighters go yes. to camp, right? Yes, that's why they go to camp. And this, this telephone thing is worse than heroin. Heroin, it, it affected a, a couple of group, a small group. And this telephone thing is a whole community. Yeah, sure. Whole, uh, whole uh, families. Yeah. You know, if you have a couple of families, maybe one is using heroin in the whole street. And if you have a street now, the whole family has a problem with a with mobile phone, even in Korea. The, the kids don't play outside. They right. play inside and they communicate with the telephone. No, all the squares where the children are playing is empty. I saw a documentary. They tried to stop it and to, to, you know turn it back. But yeah, because the brain the brain will, will respond to will respond to stimulus, right? And, and if if your stimulus is reality and you're out, you're playing. Your body is also growing. But if you're sending messages of success like by playing a game your body's going to just sit still like a zombie because the brain is getting its food it's, it's, it's. You, you understand what i'm saying so my message is that if you want to be a champion and really really master your art and progress then that should be your obsession and you should make everything else minimum in relation to that to, to, the, to the love which is which is your fighting you know what i mean so they need to put the phones down man they need to put it down because the moment we have a fight, they are not allowed to use the phone. But I'm doing. Do, I'm gonna do it the moment they step in the car. We're going to the arena. No telephone. No communication. Yeah. Only communication is me, the coach, and the crew. I also think they should minimize it in their lives anyway. Period. You know what I mean? You should eat, sleep, and drink what you want to do because there are other people that don't have this technology. That will, you know, like Cubans. Yes. You know, when you meet them, you're going to find out who what they're dedicated to very, very quickly. If you, you know, if you think you're going to be a part-time athlete in your brain, and you can compete with another athlete that is that mm -hmm. is that lives this constantly, subconsciously, even dreams it, you're not. You, you haven't got a chance now. People in Holland driving a bike, yeah. and it's one hand, and even in the cars, they don't even know they are alive. They don't see what's going on around them. They don't. Focus. And the, car, focus the car is a great, a great, screen. great example of what happens to you in the ring. You're driving a car. You have to use technique. You use your phone. You crash. Yeah. You know. So, so to avoid any crash in your life, 
and getting to your destination, concentrate on the road ahead. <laughs> Focus because when they when they go on holiday, they step into the plane, they don't think the pilot is using all his phone one hand and the other phone, uh, the other hand flying the plane. Sure. They won't accept that. Sure. But they accept that we accept what they do. And and in and in some ways, as a fighter, especially you know at a higher professional level. You're putting your life at risk. You're putting your whole your body at risk. You you're putting your body at risk for an idiot to hammer on your body and kick your all your teeth out. They don't on the, they don't realize that. That's yeah. what they're doing. You allow somebody to beat the hell out of you. Yeah. They don't realize that. Yeah, so basically it's pretty clear, do you know what I mean? Put the phones down. And follow your dreams. You can't be a part-time dreamer. Yeah. Of course.